guys, this is Fishhook and I'm Charles. Today I want to go over a little bit on my bow hunting practice for the upcoming hunting season. My tune-up, if you would you want to call it that. There's a little procedure I do. I come into the woods or my backyard. I set up a couple of targets, usually stuffed sacks, and I shoot at different distances, 10, 15, maybe even 20 yards. Now these are low to the ground. I've got a small low here. I don't have anything high. So I want to go over a little bit of the form, what I do. I do a push-pull method like uh, Howard Hill style. And that's how I was taught like 40 years ago from my good buddy, Gary. So we're at 15 yards and this is what I do. I get either 100% perpendicular or I tend to stand a little bit open. But the key to this, my form is, when you're pulling his back, your elbows up, you are perpendicular. So if I go, this is how it goes. You gotta, you gotta keep that T there. You can't, it won't work, your shot's gonna be off. So let's do this, and you'll find your rhythm, you'll know when you got mojo going, when you start being consistent in your shots. So I look at it, my the key here is to I never look at my setup. I've got my anchor down. I know how I shoot. Keep your eye on the target the whole time. That was a excellent shot. I was one inch high at 15 yards. And I'm shooting. These are my arrows. 2364 cedar. Five inch turkey feathers, boning index knocks. I like them a lot because I, I always know where the cock feather is. And I'm using a 125 grain field tip. My, these are the same weight as exact same shafts I use for hunting, obviously with a broadhead. And I primarily shoot with a 125 grain, which is more than enough for deer. But I'm gonna practice with 140 and 160 if, uh, once I go a little farther out and I'm going for boar, you know, pig, just for a little better penetration. There is definitely something to be said. This arrow, the way it is, weighs 646 to 650 grains. The last I did on the chronograph with my uh, modified deflex reflex longbow, I'm shooting between 150 and 153 feet per second. Let me just tell you what I'm shooting. I'm shooting ILF. I switched from a standard takedown recurve with the two allen nuts is i didn't i didn't like that and uh i decided to change i gave this a shot a try rather a shot and i've since bought four or five of these i make them up i buy my risers different places and the beautiful thing about ilf international limb fitting is that any any manufacturer's limbs will work if they're ILF. It's a standard, universally accepted uh, form of connecting to the riser. So I'm shooting with this 51 at 30. That's my draw. I'm doing a B, I believe it's a 57 Dacron, 16 strand. And I got a couple of these silencers. Don't really know if it, if it does anything good or not. But here's something that I'm very impressed with. You guys can see this. This is from what I found, I've tried all different types of bow protectors. This is from Saunders, a little pricey at seven bucks. Outrageous, real thick bottom, flat, square bottom, protects my lower limb. That's the best I ever found. I put it on all my bows and my wife's. So let's just practice a little bit more. I shoot three finger underneath. My knock is roughly about five eighths inch up above center. And I find myself very comfortable with that. In addition, you see this black on my bow. I bought a roll of hockey tape because I sweat profusely and I don't always wear a glove. So when I'm wearing a tab, and it's really not this hand, it's this hand primarily. I don't wanna use a glove unless it has some sticky little tits on it. That's great. But this hockey tape worked great. After the first couple of days, it was real sticky and tacky. All right, we're just getting warmed up. 
Aim small, keep your eye fixated on your target the whole time. <clears throat> Right alongside the target there. Bolt to the left. You've got to stay steady. I'm, I can see my bow on move. <clears throat> Bam. Pulls it. All right, I'm going to run and get them. You don't have to be in a rush to shoot at all. When you're ready, you execute. <clears throat> I have a problem with this knock. A little better. Bam. Good shot. That could be a deer laying down, that could be a turkey standing up. It's dead. Bullseye. Three bullseyes. And one a little to the left. We'll go get him and come back. Well, we retrieved our arrows and now we're gonna try to shoot the gallon jug. I'm going to shoot the left one first. It's make believe it's a small game animal like a rabbit. Ideally, I'd like to get a lot closer to the rabbit. I could, anyhow. Right over the top of that. Wow. Get it a little lower. That's one dead rabbit. Get the next one. We can do it. To the right. Wow, right alongside it. Okay. side of it. Alright, we're going to shoot my yellow target a little bit. Ideally, I want to shoot from 5 yards close up all the way to 15, 18. It's probably the sweet spot. I don't like to shoot over 20, but I will if that's the only shot I got. But that's not what I practice. All right, we're gonna shoot on the red one, the top red hexagon. We're gonna aim for that. Anywhere left or right of that is a kill. That's a dead right on the money. That's a bullseye. For me, whenever you've seen me miss, whenever every shot you know. Anybody tells you they do? Uh, if you believe that, I'll tell you I'm Abraham Lincoln. But 
every every uh, shot I take, it's never the same. You've got to get your form down where you're confident. And when you shoot like this, a lot of times when you release arrow, sometimes if you drop it, you're going to affect your arrow flight. Sometimes you go this way, your arrow is going, you're going to be knocked left. It's, it's unbelievable how that little reaction and movement from us when we shoot, you got to stay dead. When, you, when you're back here, you let it go, hold steady because you want a straight course. This has got to roll on this shaft for 31 to 33 inches or you don't want to screw it up. So let's try it again. We're going to go for the same thing. See what we, how, how close a group we can do. A little higher. Good shot. That's two. These, these points are really blunt. I've hit so many trees with them, I should have used the uh, flat blunt edge. But here we go. Fantastic. It's three kills. That's how easy it's done. Get your 10, 15 shots in in the morning. If you can do it every day, find your sweet time when it's good. You might go home for lunch, shoot in your backyard if that's where you shoot. But hunting season's approaching in two more weeks in Tennessee, the 23rd. In fact, today is the 7th, 16 days and counting. I'll be in my stand. I, we just put up a nice steel two-person uh, tree stand. Really, really nice. Going into our property where it funnels, they funnel together and they go right out into a food plot. So we should be able to get first dibs on them before they go into a food plot, which is private property. I am getting warm. This 88, 90 degree weather is getting to me. But I am covered. I'll do another video and tell you what I protect myself with. But I'm totally treated. My pants, my socks, my shoes, these sneakers that I wear, this shirt. And I've got to do some of the underwear and undershirts. And then I keep them in a plastic bag in my closet. Dark and uh, to hope, hopefully keep it from house smells coming in there to give my scent away. All right, we're gonna do another three, four shots at that same red target. A little high. Those are good shots. Those are on the money. I've got a narrow shooting channel that I'm trying to develop and every arrow stayed that way. Even if I missed it a little bit to the side, mind you, I'm shooting a deer that's laying down. I would have hit him. Ideally, I want to be there. I want to have my group size as tight as possible. And that's something, you know what, we keep working on. I don't wake up one morning, if I haven't practiced, say for a month, Oh, I'm going to go shoot three inch group. No, you're not. In your dreams, you are. But part of my preparation, let me just say this before the end of the video. When I come out here, I've been thinking about this all morning. I usually come out about 7 38 o'clock when it's cooler, but I had, I had an appointment this morning. So I'm coming out here in the heat. But nonetheless, I am focused. I'm laser focused on what I have to do. This is like a mission. I'm going to accomplish it. I'm going to get my target. And I'm going to put that arrow where I want it. My brain said it's going to go right there. That's where it's going. If I do something crazy, I know I can pick apart my form. I know right away where I made a mistake. If my thing shoots to the left, means I was starting to lower my bow or move it over. I didn't stay solid, dead steady through the shot. You have to do that. It's the same thing with a gun. You've got to stay dead steady. Don't move your gun once you shoot it. Retain your form just for a second or two. And you're really helping the back end of that arrow. To, you're helping the feathers do their job. Just right on course. 
because the point weighted that foc is what's pulling the arrow you don't want like if your arrow's going like this means first you've got a weak spine arrow and your bow is way too powerful for that so a combination it's like the caboose you're giving it the engine it's going so crazy that the train ain't gonna go straight it will go straight if the locomotive's in the front so think of it that way with the locomotive in the front sometimes they do too heavy heavy arrow hey guys well my cameras got hot both of them they're in their uh, uh it's a mod case that they're encased in so that adds to the uh the heat retention we're outside it was it's 90 degrees so it's pretty dang hot but i had to let them cool off so i could finish i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions or concerns on maybe my shooting technique i uh i try to mimic and i i pattern myself after that hill style which is hold the bow as the bow's pulling up pull back sometimes i just push pull those are comfortable for me to do and it's whatever i feel at the moment but those are the kind of shots style that i do anyway if you like i said post any uh questions or any any concerns or uh ideas in the comments below and uh i'll be looking for them and i'll answer every single one i hope you guys have a great day and uh, we'll see you on the next video thank you